What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XSC Tunes. In this video, I'm gonna talk about one of the issues that I'm going through and I'm pretty sure you guys are also going through with this. And that is with the uh, drum machine and the pattern editor. So let's get started. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, smash the like button and share this video to everybody you know, all right? Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add a drum machine now. Drums name them drums okay so now you can see that we have 16 pads here right and I have the 16 pads and I'm gonna go ahead and add some drums to it let's say I like this open hat right and I'm gonna drag this first here okay usually I'll start with the kick but sometimes when I'm loading a sample or a couple of samples usually I just drag and add to my pads here so whichever pads here right but most of the time my kick, snare, snare, and hi hat is gonna be here, right? But now I am loading the first symbol that I like. Okay, so let's go to another kit here and add some kick. I like this kick now. I'm gonna drag it to the first path here. All right. So let's find something else now. Okay, maybe a hi hat here and a clap. Okay, let's see. I like this clap. All right. So if I double click on this empty area here, it's going to create a pattern editor, right? So now you can see that I have four samples at to this pattern editor. I would assume that the first sample here is the kick sample because that's what I have here, right? The kick. But when I go here, right, the first sample here is actually not the kick. It's the open hat. You see that? That's an open hat. That's not a kick, right? Why? Actually, I don't know why it does that, but that's what's happening now. But I don't like that because most of the time I want my kick here, my snare here, my clap here, a hi hat here, an open hat below there, right? The open hat is here. So now when I'm creating a pattern, beat pattern, right? open hat here is not a really good idea so there's a workaround to it so what you have to do is just go ahead and remove the lane right and then click on this plus button to add them back okay now see this note here C C sharp D D sharp right now when I go to the drum machine it's gonna play all the notes within this pad right so C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E. So now if I go here, I don't have an E here, so I have to add a new one, okay? So that is all you have to do. It's very simple, isn't it? So now when I go and create a pattern, the first one is gonna be a kick. Second one is a, is a clap. Third one, I believe it was empty, isn't it? Yeah, third is empty, and then the hi-hat is on the fourth. So let's create a pattern real quick. Very simple. Let's hit play now. Okay. So that's all you have to do guys just go and remove the lane and add the lane to it all right okay let's say you don't want this empty space here right so what you have to do is just go and remove this and now you have all the samples that you've added already so okay so now you can see when i go to the drum machine i have four samples here and only four samples here as well so that means it's very synchronized so now let's say if i go to the drum machine and add another sample here maybe to this pad here and this pad is D sharp 2 right so now when I go to the pattern here again when I click on this plus button it's gonna go to E sorry F1 all right so now just have to click on this button here and go to D sharp 2 this one right here and let's put this clap here
okay don't have the open head actually this is not open head i don't know why i said open head it's actually a symbol right so ignore the fact that i said open head so you see very simple all you have to do is reorganize it so that's it for today guys it's a very quick video i know a lot of people that may not be aware of this so here it is the solution for your issue all right so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video